Hello ladies and gentlemen, Donnie back again for the second end of the week hangout here at our good old place Valhalla. I know it's been a long week for everyone, and if you don't know, we just like to come here at the end of the week, sit back, relax, pick up a drink or two, if you're old enough, obviously. I hope you got yours, because... I've got mine. So let's kick back and see if we can pick up where we left off back in good old Valhalla. I hope everybody's week was pretty tame or pretty good, depending on not too many bad things. Okay, so when we last left off, we met a reporter, or an editor, for the uh, paper, I guess, or the journal site that we read, and we also met a very, um, kind of flirty, kind of dark guy, Ingram, I think was his name. So, uh, yeah, let's see who else we can get to come to our bar. Once again, I'll be trying to provide voices. I'm going to try to improve on them as we go along in our series. At least I didn't get locked up this time. Oh. Right, so in case you don't know, we get to choose what songs we'll uh, play during our time here at Valhalla. I think we'll just keep it as is for now and go through it later if we can, okay? Okay then, back in action. Oh, is that a robot? I don't really know what kind of voice I would give a robot. <clears throat> We're gonna try something here. Let me uh, take a drink. Good evening. Good e- Um, would you mind taking your helmet off? Oh, sorry. It's so comfortable, I usually forget I have it on. Oh, is it not- Oh. I guess I was far off the mark on that one. Is this better? Yeah, thank you. What can I get you, miss? Master Specialist Sei P. Asagiri of the 765th Division Valkyrie Corps at your service. Wait, that's too long. Just call me Sei. What can I get for you, Sei? Let's see, I I'm in the mood for a sweet drink. Oh, but not sweet as in cool. Although, a cool drink would be nice too, uh, um, but not cool as in great and especially not as in big. More so since I have to get up early tomorrow and I can't afford a hangover. Um, sorry, did you get that? A sweet drink, preferably a cold one. It's not too big, right? Yeah, that's it. I can do that. Give me a sec. Something small, sweet, and icy. I wonder if I have something so specific. Small, sweet, and icy. Alright, uh, let's see what we got here. We will... Oh, here we go. Sweet drinks. Okay. Well, we did a sugar rush once before, I believe, in the tutorial. So let's see if we can get something... A blue fairy. That's sweet. Pinocchio, right? Alright. Let's see. Blue Fairy is four out of height, and it can't be big, so one, two, three, four. Uh, we got one flanger head. I still don't know if I'm pronouncing these right. With optional karma train. Uh, so if it's optional, we'll, we'll do one. All aged and mixed. Okay, so she did want it to be icy, so we'll throw ice in there too, and make it aged, and let's mix. I believe, if I remember correctly, 
Oh. Okay, that was a little off on that one. Um, let's try that again. I believe it's the first one, and then it's mixed. So one, two, three, four. Uh, one of those, one of those. I see it aged. Maybe we'll just shake it a little bit. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I think I might be doing something wrong. Let's uh, try one more. Sweet and icy. Oh. Oh, it has to have ice in it. Okay, so let's see if we. Let's see if we got something else uh, that might be more to her taste. Sparkle? No, that's. that's I'm sorry, I gotta get used to navigating the menus again. And our music is doing pretty good. I uh, just remembered there's a kind of an upbeat song that should play at some point. Uh, I'll have to uh, remember to change that again at one point or the other. Uh, piano Woman. Well, those are all aged. Uh, moon Blast. Ah, here we go. A Moon Blast. This should be good for her. Ooh, that's a lot. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, one, two, three, on the rocks and blended. I believe blended is the fast one. Ah, there we go. Let's see if Say likes it. Here you are. Ah, yes. This is just what I needed. Thanks. Excuse me. We don't get many white knights as clients. I can only remember one other, in fact. You said you're from the Valkyrie Corps, right? Are you the guys who deal with riots and such? Riots? Oh, no, no, no. You're thinking the Blitzkrieg Corps, the ones with the huge pla- Excuse me. The huge plated suits, right? Yeah, those. No, we're- we're different people. I mean, obviously we are different people, but we don't deal with riots or anything. In fact, you could say we deal with their aftermath. How so? To rescue, heal, and protect. We are the angels who soothe those suffering enemy attack. Hmm. Was that supposed to rhyme? Or did I just... Was it and I just messed it up? Or am I... Uh, I got Sailor Moon on the brain. We are the light of hope in the darkest of times, the ones who assist the victims of crime. Oh, I think it is rhyming. We watch, we protect. Um, what was that? Sorry, it's sort of our pledge of allegiance. We recite it every morning. What it means is that our duties mostly include rescuing civilians, healing the injured, and protecting them from stuff. What kind of stuff? Burglars. R word, I can't say that on YouTube. <laughs> Car crashes, anything that might happen on our watch. You mentioned heal. Are you a doctor then? Nah, I know many doctors, but I'm not one. I'm more of a paramedic. I treat people so they can arrive safely at a doctor. I'm also kind of like a firefighter in that I sometimes rescue people from places. Damn, that must be a tough job. Sort of, but it's also really rewarding. I mean, I've yet to meet somebody that isn't glad to see me when I arrive. You must have seen some shocking sights. Yeah, this one time when I was saving some people from the top of a collapsing building, I looked down and I was blown away by how pretty the city was. It was like a starry sky on Earth. Oh, and there was this one time where we were cleaning up the aftermath of a car crash Water was pouring out of a hydrant. With the lights and scattered pieces of glass, it was almost dreamlike. That's not what I meant by shocking sights. It's not the, can, can I... How do... Uh, ooh, that's not it at all. There's a way to view the... I guess we can't do it just yet. Oh, no, there it is. Log. She said... What was it? Uh, with the lights and scattered pieces of glass. Wow. 
turn a car crash into a dream scenario. Neat. No, but, but those are sights and they're shocking, right? Yeah, but never mind. Wait, did I mishear and you actually meant size? I mean, sure. I've suffered the deepest, longest, and most frustrated sighs from people after everything's said and done, but don't worry. You didn't mishear. I guess I was just expecting a different kind of answer. What kind of answer? Don't worry too much about it. You finished your drink. Can I get you anything else? Hmm, something classy. A classy drink. Can you be more specific? Don't make it too big. Does that work? Sorry, I don't come to bars very often. My drinks usually come in a can. No problem. Don't worry. A classy drink, right? Let's see what I can find for you. Speaking of... Excuse me for a minute, ladies and gentlemen. Very good. A classy drink. Simple enough. Alright. So, let's see. Type, there we go. A uh, classy drink. And this one, she doesn't want, and it's not too specific, right? So we can kind of make um, brandy tea. <clears throat> Excuse me. Cobalt velvet. That sounds. That sounds classy. It certainly sounds more classy than mercury glass. A cobalt velvet. I forgot to read the last drink's description. Sorry about that. All right. It's like champagne served on a cup that had a bit of cola left. Bubbly, classy, burning. Alright, we get two, three, five, karma tree. Ooh, this is the stuff that makes it al alcoholic, right? That's heavy. Looks like Say is a drinker. Alright, and it's mixed. So, mixed means the first one. No, it's the second one. I was wrong. Huh. Not even ten minutes into it, and I, I'm i just completely forgetting how to make drinks. Alright, and... Oh, on the rocks. Is that what I left out? That might be what I left out. Ah, I was right. I just forgot an ingredient. All right, one cobalt velvet coming up. Here you are. Yep, this looks like something Stella would drink. Who? She's my dearest friend. Not that I don't have others, but she's the one I've known the longest. She's like, she likes these kind of drinks, so I wanted to hear what's so special about them. And what do you think? I was expecting something stronger. I like it quite a bit. But that had five of five karma trine in it. Is that not strong enough? Say, Miss Bartender, what's your name? Hmm? You know my name, now I want to know yours. Oh, sure, just call me Jill. Jill. Hmm. Jill. Jill is short for Jillian. No, that's not right. Jillian. J Julianne? Do not call me Julianne, please. <sighs> Sorry about that. No, please, excuse me. I didn't want to anger you. Um, but why don't you like being called by your full name? It's a stupid reason. Don't dwell too much on that. Oh, okay. I still feel bad about angering you, though. Why? Because you look like a nice girl, Jill, and I don't like angering nice people. If it helps somehow, I really like this place. That actually helps. You're the first person to say something nice today. Thanks. What do you like about it? The smell of dog urine and soap. <laughs> right, say that's. I, I guess she's trying to. F I, I guess she's trying to find a compliment, but can't quite think of a good one. 
my mom used to be a veterinarian and I used to go to her clinic after school, so the smell takes me back. Oh, that makes more sense. It makes me feel comfy and nostalgic. <clears throat> what made you become a white knight instead of a veterinarian or anything else? Well, I was never a good student, so studying medicine of any kind was out of the question. That aside, it's mostly because of something that happened while I was a kid. A white knight attacked my friend and was coming for me when this other white knight saved us. I don't remember what happened next, I just woke up in a hospital with my friend watching over me. I mean, it wasn't a prophetic moment or anything like that, but ever since then I felt this was my calling. That I wanted to help people the same way they helped me. Uh huh, it's interesting though. One would think being attacked by a white knight would make you run the opposite direction. Yeah, but it was another one that saved me, so I kind of guide myself toward judging everything on an individual basis. Well, not to an extremist extent, but you get me. Yeah, I try to do the same too. Why join Valkyrie Corps specifically though? Because I wanted to rescue people from dire situations whenever possible. And going into patrols and all that felt too tiresome. It's also the one with the least paperwork involved. Now that... <laughs> now that I think about it, there are different kinds of white knights, right? I guess white knight is too broad a term. There's not one specific type, there are many different classes. Rescue, assault... There's even a squad full of bureaucrats. Really? Yeah, they get assigned to companies to handle the accounting and that kind of stuff. People usually ask for them because they speed up processes. But if you were assigned when a company is suspected of having weird under-the-table deals. Interesting. There was also a squad dedicated to fighting school bullying. Oh, there's that uplifting beat, guys. <laughs> I think it'll grow on me though. Mm. <sighs> Sorry. Take another sip. They were doing a nice job, but the fad of anti bullying campaigns passed and they lost their funding. I believe some members still work with anti bullying cases in an unofficial capacity. That'd be nice, I think. Can I get you anything else? I don't know if I should. I can't afford that many drinks, and besides, I don't really know how much alcohol I can handle. Yeah, I can see that. Yep, I'm gonna stop here today. Thanks for the chat, Jill. Sure, no problem. Bye. Come again. Will do. And uh, I'd like to say, she was a little weird at first, and still a little bit of weird undertones, but. I think so far she's the best person we've had that can come through the door. So, let's see what we get next, I guess. Wait, you forgot your helmet. She's gone. Whoa. Gil, do the ammonia make you go nuts? There was this time in Zanzibar when they almost happened. In any case, I'll go check that noise new character. Oh, she woke up. Well, hello there. Uh, <laughs> sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I'm struggling to find a voice for her. Uh, let me think. Where? Where am I? Where, where am I? Where am I? No, no, that's not good. Where am I? Now that sounds more like Jill. Where, where am I? Good evening and welcome to Valhalla. That might not have been the best thing to say. Val, Valhalla, a am I dead? D does that mean that Uncle Ignis ramblings about the afterlife looking like a shoddy downtown bar are true? Called it afterlife. I'm not dead? As far as I can tell, no. To be fair, I don't know how death or the afterlife 
work exactly, but you're breathing right. Alright, then where the hell am I? How did I get here? Who brought me here? What were you planning to do with me? Are you organ traffickers? Robbers? R words? Pickpockets? You're pickpockets, aren't you? Oh, she is just going down the list, huh? Why aren't you saying anything? I'm waiting for you to vent your worries. Otherwise, you'll just... You're R-word, aren't you? R-word, the whole lot of you. <laughs> okay, I... Yeah, I might just bleep that out altogether because saying R-word is just so stupid to me. You want to tear my clothes, beat me unconscious, have your horrible way with me, and then brutally murder me, don't you? All while violating every hole in my body as I lay there twitching, don't you? Well, this is taking a very, uh, <laughs> very weird turn. Um, let's see if we can calm her down. Okay. Is anybody else getting Phoenix right vibes? It's weird, right? Interrupt me. Well, this is going nowhere. Let's see if we can get a drink to calm her down or to throw at her face. Think carefully, Jill. There is something that will calm her down. Ooh. It's one where we wing it, huh? Alright. Something to calm. Something to calm her down. Uh, I would think something bubbly? Mm, maybe not. Uh, guys, what would be a good drink to calm this lady down before she continues to scream? Uh, we'll try. Mm, maybe not that kind of. Maybe something sweet. Maybe she'll like the blue fairy. Let's see if we can get a blue fairy going. Alright, so one, two, three, four, aldehyde. One blender ride. We'll throw one karma train in there. Uh, all aged and mix. Let's see if she'll like this. What? What is that? A drink. Here in a bar. Bars serve drinks. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> A bar? So I figured I should give you something to help you calm down. Don't worry, it's on the house. It's, uh, calm down? What, did you spice it with roofies, TDX, pumpkins? G God, no, I wouldn't even think of it. Your stuttering makes you suspicious, you know. If I ever added anything like that to your drink, they'd dock my pain and antips. Not to mention I'd have to pay any losses myself. And that's the best case scenario. I could get fired and lose benefits or go to jail. And trust me, the BTC loves to catch anyone who commits that particular felony. They'd show themselves all proud for a hefty PR boost. And the thought of going through all that is just... Ugh. Even if you say that, let's do something. If you go outside and head just three businesses to the left, you'll find a convenience store. They sell drug tests for drinks. Tell the cashier that Dana Zane sent you. Hmm. Two flying car crashed. <clears throat> Two flying cars crashed and went boom. That's why it was so noisy. Any damage? A hole in the street? Don't know about the driver or anything. I see. Either way, I think I'm done here. Did you check inside the toilet paper's locker? What about- Oh my god. H how? Why? How? Wow. I'm back. You tried to give me bandages at first, though. Did you have to pay? No. No problem, then. Try it on the drink says negative. There you go. 
but you could be in cahoots with the clerk in the store. He even knew your name. Good point. First of all, it's not my name, it's my boss's. Second, we're pretty much part of a chain, sort of like the spicy chicken of bars. And finally, I'm not making you drink this. I offered it to you as a sign of peace. I mean, you are right. It is indeed suspicious on my part. Sorry. You can just ignore the drink. Go through the door and forget this ever happened. That would be it. You're at peace and nothing of value would be lost. Are you implying something won't have value because I ignored it? Are you saying my presence is so unimportant that my lack of action will yield no difference? Can, uh, can somebody tell me what's going on with this lady? Like, did she have something to do with the accident with the flying cars or what? Because I sure, I sure as hell, I'm just as confused as Jill. My thoughts exactly, Jill. And what about the drink? Are you going to let this fruit of your work go to waste so easily? No, I... Well, I'll let you know I'm not that unimportant and that your work does matter. Um, not sure you should drink it all so fast. So how was it? It was good, I guess. It'll help me calm down a bit, I think. Are you alright? Yeah, I guess you were telling the truth. Sorry about that. No problem. If I were you, I'd have probably reacted the same way. I should apologize for my last comment, too. It came out as insensitive. I guess I'll stay for a while. I need to get my thoughts in order. Can you tell me how I got here? My boss... Oh, this was the woman that the boss brought in in the first part. I completely forgot about that. Okay, that makes more sense. I thought she just kind of crashed into the doorway or something. Wow. Okay. Alright. My boss found you unconscious and brought you here for safekeeping. And you were asleep until that car crash outside. I, I see. I guess it's better to wake up here than on the streets, stripped of clothes, dignity, and or organs. Yeah, that would be worse. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, took a drink break, had to uh, clear the throat. Uh, before we continue, how are you all tonight? How's everything going? Hope you're all feeling relaxed. Hope the uh, voice acting isn't too terrible and I'm not being too loud. This is supposed to be a it's sort of a quiet time hour, you know? Yeah, but, uh, as I said, I hope your weeks were fine. And I hope your, uh, time out was good. Not time out, time out, but you know what I mean. Hope it was better than mine. Long story short for you guys, I, uh, singing all more money out of this car. Kinda had to replace a tire. Got all the lug nuts off except for one. And had to wait for some roadside assistance, but everything's good now. It was a little bit annoying, but at the end of the day, everything became relaxed. And, you know, now we're here. It was a weird cap to the week, but, you know, overall, eh, things look up eventually, right? So I hope it's all going like that for you. Anyway, back to the, uh, un formerly unconscious lady. How did you fall unconscious? Were you tired? Sick? I guess I'm sick, but I'd rather not talk about it. Of course. I'll tell you what, your drinks are on the house tonight. Why would you do that? Considering, consider it an apology on behalf of everyone here for all the trouble we've caused you. Also, something tells me you might need another drink right now. Yeah, you might be right. Okay then, I'll take you on your offer. I'll have a piano man. Will you be fine? Yeah, I just gulped the last one, so I want to enjoy this one. Coming right up then. She's asking for a piano man. You don't see women asking for a piano man every day. Hmm. You know, I was actually looking at the piano man last time. Trying to think about making it, so here we go. Oh, 
Well, that turned up a notch. Piano Man. Oh, there's Piano Man and Piano Woman. Alright. Hmm. This drink does not represent the opinions of the bar pianist, union, or its associates. Alright, so we got two aldehyde. Three bronze and extra. This is a hefty order on the rocks and mix. Ooh, look at that. It's classy looking. I like that. Here. Yeah, this is the one. My dad used to drink these before an actual pianist attempted to kill him. What did he do? Your dad, I mean, to provoke the pianist like that. Wrong place at the wrong time, I guess. He was a relax. Excuse me. He was relaxed. <laughs> Can't talk right now. He was relaxed. <laughs> I promise I'll get this. He was relaxing in a bar when suddenly the pianist leapt off the stage and started punching him. Some say he was off his meds and that my dad looked like some music critic that had bashed him. I still hold my stance that he just got too excited. Jazz does that to you. Anyone else not feel too comfortable that I'm pretty sure this is a form of jazz we're listening to right now? I'm imagining she'll uh, lose it at some point. Let's hope not. I see. The Piano Man is an interesting story. It was originally created by a bartender in honor of a pianist friend of his that had just died. Apparently, it mixes all the flavors said friend liked the most. Oh, that's nice. So this is how it feels to go for a drink at the end of a long, hard day at work. Yeah, it looks like this lady is kind of getting the vibe of the video. I like that. I uh, wish she'd tell us her name already, though. I'm not sure if I like the fact that I'm falling into that. Where do you work, miss? Call me Kim. There we go. I don't know if I can say I work yet, though. I'm still just an intern. Can I act swear? Have you heard of a newspaper called the Augmented Eye? Oh boy. Everything's connecting. So she's an intern working for... Uh, I can't... You will have a flashback to remember his name because I can't for the life of... Was it Eugene? It might have been Eugene. I read it every morning. In fact, Donovan D. There we go. Just, I, I gotta learn some patience, guys. <laughs> In fact, Donovan D. Dawson was here earlier. I knew I smelled his nasty cologne. That bastard leaves his reef wherever he goes. So you believe me? I do. God, you have no idea how much I hate that chauvinistic horse blower. <clears throat> Harsh words. The worst part is that I kind of admire the way he does stuff. He's so forceful about the things he wants that people haven't done before they realize what's going on. He even got a pizza delivery boy to work server maintenance. A full week passed before the pizza shop asked where the hell he was. And would you believe it, the guy became decent as a server maintenance despite having no previous experience. It's kind of admirable, but at the same time, I hate his guts. Ugh. Knowing that I have to work for him, it's... Uh, why are you working there, then? Did I ask something I shouldn't have? N no, don't fret about it. I'd rather not talk about it, though. Fair enough. What's your name, bartender? Call me Jill. Is it hard to be a bartender, Jill? I guess it's as hard as being a cook somewhere. Keep going through the motions while trying to provide something of quality. Little tidbit of the day, that makes a lot of sense to me considering I graduated a culinary student and did work in a catering industry, so I kind of understand that. All while answering the whimsy of people's orders. Understand it too well. 
I think the hardest part is dealing with the chemical hazards some people might leave behind. Why? At one point I thought about being a bartender. But I was afraid that... I was afraid they'd make me wear skimpy clothes and dance or something. Here we go again. Well, it, it depends on where you start working, you know. I guess I was lucky about how it didn't end up being a tacky disco overseen by a DJ with an afro. My boss just wanted a comfy place, I think. Your boss sounds like an interesting person. What with wanting to put me somewhere safe and all that. She is. She's so cool and collected, but has no qualms about showing excitement about stuff. Sure, she's been a bit tense the last couple of days, but even then, when you're with her, everything just feels under control. She also has this mechanical arm. I have no idea how she got it, but... <laughs> Sorry, I got carried away. It was fun to see you break the wise bartender character you're using here. It'd be nice to meet this boss of yours sometime and thank her. Shall I call her? She'd be glad to know you're okay. Oh no, I shouldn't pester her that way. And besides, it's getting late and I don't want to abuse your generosity. You can ask for another one, although I don't know how much alcohol you can handle. I think I can handle another drink. One brand tea, please. Uh, that's the... Coming right up. That's a tacky one. She wants a brand tea. Sorry, a mar- uh, A brand tea. Yeah, that. My thoughts exactly, Jill. Alright. Brand tea. Uh, a brand tea is six aldehyde, three powder delta, and one carmatride. All aged and mixed. Eight out of ten smug assholes would recommend it, but they're too busy being smug assholes. Sweet, classy, happy. Let's take a drink ourselves, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's good. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six. So while we're making this, um let me tell you guys about, you know, little background to the flat tire thing. So, you know, I'm driving to work, everything's fine and dandy. I'm not running late, I'll make it there just in time. Where, all of a sudden, when all of a sudden, this guy, seemingly, I guess, was in the wrong lane and decided, yeah, I'm gonna just go right in front of you and adjust myself. Don't worry about me, I'll be fine, I hope you will too. Lo and behold, I wasn't. I had to swerve to the left, and my tire went right over the curb. So obviously the first thought in my head was, uh, I hope I don't get a flat. Well, I tell you what, I drove two seconds before I started hearing the bump 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 noise, and yeah, so turns out I got a flat. Tried to fix it myself because, you know, I've changed a flat tire before, it's not too hard. And then, well, wouldn't you know it, one of the lug nuts was stripped. So I had to call for roadside assistance, waited about an hour, the guy got there, he was an awesome guy, you know, we talked about everything that happened, talked about how crazy and sometimes idiotic people can be on the road. Uh, he put the spare on and made it to work. And the rest of the day was pretty wax, not too bad. Had to uh, catch up on everything, but not bad at all. Yeah, that was a that was a short end or the short long of what happened to cap my week off. What about you guys? Just let me know if everything with you guys went okay. I hope it did. All right, we got one Brandini here. Here. Yep, this seems like the stuff. Cheers. Hey Jill, was this job like a lifelong dream or something? Not really, it just kinda happened. One thing led to another and bam, 
bartending. Do you regret not fulfill fulfilling a dream? The only dream I can remember being passionate about was buying a model warrior Julianne arcade machine. Can't say I've given up on that one yet, but alas, adult stuff needs to be paid for, for first. Uh, I think we can all relate to that. Jill. You've never had a dream you wanted to chase? Not really. I mean, most of my dreams have been silly things or childish dreams. Childish dreams? Having a room where every piece of furniture talks? Being a model, war model warrior? Oh, childish dreams, yeah. I remember I wanted to live in a koi pond when I was seven. The fish seemed to be having a blast to me. So, no dreams? None that I felt particularly motivated to chase, no. I mean, I'm fascinated by AIs, but I just couldn't find it in me to study that. So I picked something I found nice and moved on. And somewhere along the way, I became a bartender. I see. Finally. Those dogs left a mess I'm not gonna forget anytime soon. I mean, how the hell do they throw toilet paper out the window? Oh, a client. Good night, ma'am. Jill, I'm gonna leave early. I need to take care of the smell clinging to my body. Sure. Um, who is he? A ghost. Nobody you should worry about. Ah, yes, he just jabbing at my, at my guy, Gil. Why? Oh, I heard that. Why were you asking all those questions? Because now I think about it, I don't really have a dream job or anything like that. I think, oops, wrong person. I think we idolize the idea of a dream job too much. Not everyone walks around with a clear idea of what they want in life. Some take a link, excuse me. Some take a liking to the job, others find it after many failed attempts. Sometimes life takes an unexpected turn that makes you change your plans. What I mean is, don't worry too much about it. Maybe you're right. Well, I'm gonna take my leave now. Thank you for everything. Please thank your boss on my behalf. Bye. Thank you and come again. And that's that. I can't remember what voice I gave Dana, but she looks like a tough girl, right? Uh, well, from the story that Ingram gave us, I think she is pretty tough. Let's see if we can find something for her. Are we done for the night? Kind of like an excited. Seems like it. Where's Gil? And where's the girl that was here? Gil cleaned the bathroom and left because he stank. Kim woke up, had a couple drinks, and left. So she's called Kim. How did she look to you? How was she? She was freaked out when she woke up, but she managed to calm down. Are you worried about her? What? Sorry for the mic clip there. I, I might either cut that out or just, you know, We'll see. Wouldn't you be? I don't know. Hey boss, do you feel like calling me boss is too impersonal? Hmm, not really, no. It's not like you call me that because I'm a stranger, just out of habit. Oh. Anyway, you're free to go after you finish washing up the glasses. Let me transfer you today's payments. Maybe I'll give Gil a small bonus for dealing with the bathroom. Oh, look at that. These are the results for our first night at Valhalla. We made 2,890. Oh. oh, look at that. I wish I could actually get $650 in tips. That'd be cool extra for helping the girl calm down today's total oh man so after everything wait it didn't count the mistake uh, i guess it wouldn't count the mistakes if i didn't serve them i just restarted them interesting all right mm, your 
membership to Shining Fingered will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account has at least 800 by then. Jill is lost in thought about a hollow plan. Buying it will prevent her from getting too distracted. You can now browse Danger You. You can now visit JC Elton's. Oh, is that like Reddit? Right? Hmm. Okay, so. Let's see. That was our first night in Valhalla. We're, we're gonna call that a uh, night for now, but first, before we do that, we're gonna take the money we earned and, uh, you know, see what uh, we can do. Well, first, let's. Come on, phone. Well, actually, first, let's save. We'll just go down the line. Make sure we save money. Tomorrow is the 17th. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, we got some. I'm assuming that's what those exclamation marks are. Uh, Mickey 2 concert. Let's talk about Alice Rabbit. Hmm. Well, I'll probably read this stuff on my leisure time. And I'll just scroll slightly so you guys can pause at any time to get any of this maybe it's information that'll pop up later i know mr donovan was talking about alice so yeah all right mickey concert hmm. why would you lie on the internet <laughs> fucking normies get out wow Alright, I get, we, we just have read it on our phone, huh? Hmm. Oh, yeah, look at that. Come on, Anna. Attention whore. Wow. Definitely gonna have to read through this. Okay. Whoops. No, no, no. Still, still navigating the screen. Yes, this is the augmented eye. Local woman. Local hero. Um, suicide and delivered by an unidentified local woman. Is it her that is wrong? Oh. Okay. guys can read through this and we'll also look through the uh, Alice Rat. I think Alice Rabin might be a dog. This uh, Lana Smith person seems to... Oh. Anyone in the audience know binary? Yeah, make some sense of this. Pretty sure that's what that is. Yeah, if I get the chance myself, I might try to see what that's all about. You know, I know, the, I know the game's been out for a while, but I like deciphering things. You know, I like mysteries. Only look for spoilers if I can't find it, you know? Alright, and the final thing we're gonna try to look into do... Shop! Oh, look at that. So, she was looking into... The hollow plant, here we go. She wanted a hollow plant. We wanted a hollow plant, so let's keep that. Hey, we got money. We we make good drinks, right? <laughs> oh, you're about to buy the hollow plant for 600. Yes. Before I go spending the money that we so rightfully earn left and right, we'll wait. Oh, here we go. Uh, Jill bought what she wanted and she's pleased with herself. She will surely focus at work. Oh, I wonder. So this affects how well we do. Good. That's good. That's good. Alright, so we're going to unlock this. We're going to save one more time. I think, it, I think we can save over this day too without problem we will continue to save multiple saves but for now we didn't do that much between now and the last one so we'll save over this 
All right, guys, this has been Donnie Nerdo, capping off your week with some soothing, soothing gameplay, taking a few drinks with each other, sitting here, just relaxing, and uh, I hope to see you all next week when we spend the night at our local, lovely little hole in the wall of Valhalla, cyberpunk bartending. Thank you.